So here are a few of these problems from section 2.4 for more practice. Three good friends are in the same algebra class. Their scores on a recent test are three consecutive odd integers whose sum is 273. Find each score. So what we've been saying in the blueprint for problem solving is that you want to focus on what you, what you know and what you don't know because we, well, we need to frame our, our thinking. What are we looking for? Usually the question is in the end, or you know the, the uh, punchline to the question is in the end, find each score. So we want to find, um, in this case, three, three scores. Okay, and then <coughs> uh, we can name the scores now. We could call them score X for an unknown score, for score Y, score Z for unknown scores, X, Y, and Z. Let me highlight as I talk their scores on a recent test are three consecutive odd integers. Knowing this um, persuades me to not just call them x, y, z, but to use a relationship that they are odd, consecutive odd integers of one another. So I'll let the first one remain labeled as x, but what would the next odd integer be labeled as? If you were in class, or if you can just think through, th think this through, the the next odd integer would be two more, and what would the next odd integer based off of the first one? Okay, so we're still basing off of the first score that we write down. It would be x plus four. So in class the other day, we said you can think of these as examples um, of seven, nine, eleven. Now clearly, those are not my scores because if if I add those together, their sum is not 273. But they help me to understand the problem. They're odd integers. Okay, but those are not going to be my answer, but at least I understand how odd integers work. They're from, from the first um, number that's stated, they're, um, we can find the other numbers by adding 2 to the first number or adding 4 to the first number to get the the following ones. Um, let me let me give you another example because you, you just just to kind of push this point a little bit further. What if my numbers would have been negative three hundred one, and um, what would my next uh, odd integer be? Well, I I chose the opposite side of the number line, so you had to think kind of in an opposite way. It would be negative two hundred ninety nine. That's just the same thing as adding 2 to negative 301. What would the next one be? Negative 297. And similarly, that would be adding 4 to the first one. So that's the relationship. You add 2 from the first one, or you add 4 from the first one. And that doesn't matter if, if the fact of the matter is it doesn't matter if they were odd or even, it'd be the same case. Right, so think of some examples. Um, if those examples happen to work out, that would be great. These definitely don't add to make 273. These certainly don't add to make 273. So I think I'm ready to write out the equation. I'm looking for an e expression of the sum of three odd consecutive integers, which is that. So first integer here, the next integer since it's odd would be two more, the next integer since it's odd would be four more from the original one. And I'm going to put that into an equation that is set equal to the sum 273 and solve. That will, f that will help me find out the first score and then I still have to come back and find out the other two scores. So solve, I get 3x plus 6 equals 273. I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. I'll show it, but we can get away from showing every little step. We're, we're getting to that point where we can just say, here's the next line of work. So that would be 267. Again, I'll show this step, but we're gonna on the next video that I make, I won't show it. I'll just leave out this step, and I'll show you the result. So here the result would be x, and then you'd have of 89. That wouldn't be the answer to the question, because the question wants to have 
all of the answers for the three scores, each score, separated by a comma. So if this one's 89, I'm going to return here and say that's what, 80, that's what the answer was. It was 89. What would this one then be? This one would be 91. What would that one then be? Uh, 89 plus 4, or in other words, the next consecutive odd integer, 93. And I'm lazy, so I'm going to go ahead and just verify my answer here. 89 plus 91 plus 93, 273, forming the sum that we said it should. You can pause, you can rewind. There's my answer. Thank you very much.